IHUB was founded in 2010, um, with the IHUB research following a year later. So with IHUB right now, we are all about catalyzing growth of te the technology industry and community in Kenya. And we do this primarily by supporting startups, connecting people, and surfacing information, which is where the research department specifically comes in. A proof that this is actually a model that was much needed is the fact that across Africa right now, in about 17 countries, there are similar hubs that have now um, you know, surfaced. And in Kenya right now, we are seeing that the, the, the government has decided that they're going to roll out ICT hubs in every county. Um, we hope that they will have a similar model where it's as easy to access as possible. Um, and this will drive a whole new wave of how people get involved in um, all sorts of inquiry, research-wise, um, you know, innovation, um, and hopefully towards a new way of doing things. So you find that the idea of research is this thing where, you know, you have to have gone through this, um, you know, PhD level type of, you know, um, entry point that then also makes it such that the inquiry that is done there or the findings that are in such a place can only be accessed on that very closed level. Something that we are trying to de debunk, first and foremost, by having our very own research and development department here at IHUB, which is a new product that came up as a result of realizing R&D is something that is spoken about but it's almost always theoretical, especially in an African context. But it's also about making sure that as anyone who's curious can have a space to do this or can realize that that is a key entry point for research or research and development. Uh, some of the projects we're actually just rolling out right now are very much centered on finding out from the citizens themselves before forming our own hypothesis what they have, what, what is working, what is not and then shaping that towards what we inquire about towards, you know, in a more bottom-up approach. Um, so it's something that we're very conscious about and we try to engage people at every step. And so not just at the dissemination point, but it's even in the research design phase. If we have doubts, we'll share them with our community of uh, people who have expressed interest in the work we do to, sh to get their insights. It will not be about whether they have a PhD, it's about their interest in this, to help us really shape this thinking. Um, and, you know, in what the a new movement called Open and Collaborative Science is really advocating for. In many ways, we are trying to make sure that this is not something we're easing into, it's part of what we do. So we're currently in talks with a lot of universities. It's a process, um, <laughs> but they are, we, we, it's, it's testament to the fact that you know, they, they know we're here, they see what we're doing, the impact, they see the impact, um, and they want, we are very much involved in very many conversations with some of them, actually, maybe all major institutions, research institutions in the country right now. I actually think the ideal situation for any hub is, is, is right next to an academic institution um, and with, with quite deep and heavy collaboration. It's, it's quite a deep philosophical question as to why the hubs came up. Um, some people might say it, it was a systemic failure. Just universities just failed. Um, so hubs had to come up um, and you could say cover that space that a lot of people like calling it learning by doing. Universities never offered that practicality. But when you're looking at, for instance, some very unique problems that Africa has, um, the IHAB would need to go intensively to address such problems. But nevertheless, there are other um, innovations at the low-hanging fruits, the instant problem, a problem that, that you can get an instant solution to, a three-month project, for instance, um, that people in the hub can, can, can take a stab at. And, and you need that in terms of developing an innovative culture. You need, like, you, you learn how to swim by being in the water.